like Vaikuji Ka Khalsa, Vaikuji Ki Fateh. And so Fateh was given by our gurus, and we have to say before we start anything. It's just a little to take a name of the card before we start anything. So my name is Jagjit Kaur. I'm born in India, and I came here like five years ago. And I'm 17 years old girl, and I'm a high school student. I'll probably finish this year. First of all, I just want to let you know that it was my own decision. Nobody forced me to do it. It was my own decision, and we supposed to take the baptism like when we are above 10 years old. So I took it when I was 12 years old, and um, baptized me me a lot. Well, for example, before when I was non-baptized, my thinking was totally different. It was a common girl. When I'm baptized, I got a new identity for myself and a new way of life to live and a positive thinking for myself. Well, when I was 10 years old, I used to behave like the way I was dressed up I was like a common girls. For example, the girls, other girls, they, they go like with the open hairs and when they go with the other girls, nobody can say from which culture they are unless they have their own identity with them. So me, I'm wearing right now my own culture dress, but I go out with wearing like pants, t-shirt, the other like the modern clothes we used to wear. But I never leave my turban, which is given by a guru, and which gave me a different identity. So when I'm walking with my friends, anybody can stand and tell me that there you go, that's a girl who's baptized and she's from the sick religion. So I'm really happy with that because it's given me a different identity. And when I go with the other media, other culture girls, so the two are happy that they saw somebody with the culture. Right? In, instead of being the same with other, I did something different. Ah, see, there's two things I want to ask you about because no when you were saying that you stressed that this was your decision, this is something that I also find people ask me. It's like, oh, is this your decision to wear the hijab? Well, there's a lot of people, they just say that, did your parents force you? It's just the first question and last question from them to me. Yeah. Really? Exactly. So what I just simply say to them, it's like, parents are tell us which is right and which is wrong. And we are here to decide from, to which way we want to go. We want to go to the right way or wrong way. So they told me we have a baptized in a religion. So I let just talk to my grandmother to know more about him, about my own religion. Then I went to do some research and I sat with the other girls who was wearing turban. I just asked them, "Are you feeling really happy? Like you don't say, you don't say like other people don't compare you with other like you know non-stuff things. It's like why oh, are you wearing so heavy stuff? Don't you think it's so heavy for you playing sports and stuff?" So after thinking a lot of stuff, what I decided. I just don't want, don't want to go with the world. Mm. If I'm wearing my turban, they're going to say something about me. If I'm not wearing, they're going to say something about me. So what I choose is like, why don't I just be a different girl and let them just say whatever they want. It's just my, I was just, I want to learn about my religion. Before I take any decision, I do research on that. I want to know before like other people ask me what, who I am. So I want to know. I haven't, I have to have a good answer to answer them. Well, my dad told me, women look beautiful when their hearts are beautiful. If you want to compare me, so compare with my mentality and my behavior and the, the softness I have in my own heart and the respect I have for other people.